All right, guys, thought I'd do something a little bit different today as we're all doom and gloom. It's bloody normal at the minute. Um, I'm looking out my window. It's snowing and raining at the same time. Um, I've just seen Jay over the Shields video on this uh, COVID beating um, Xbox. I've got to admit, um, I've been stuck with this nonsense since last Feb. Um, and you think, well, Matt, you, you you know, this is a big thing. It's big. I'll just say in the UK, I expect that the numbers that we're currently told will drop by about 38,000 um, in the next few months. I do expect by the end of February, we'll start dropping away from this crisis period we're in to almost nothing um, as the flu season end that didn't exist this year. And the 38,000 figures are people that normally die of flu, by the way. But anyway, leaving that to one side because I can't even watch that thing over there because I can't stand the news these days because it's just full of absolute... <sighs> Let's just avoid it. So what I bought, I bought one of these Oculus um, Quest 2s. Now, this is a VR headset. I know some of you guys all know what it is, but there's a lot of people that don't. Um, I did buy an extra... Um, head cover here to make it more comfortable i do recommend that i know some people buy the expensive ones i've just got a cheap one because to be fair when you're actually uh, really into the fitness stuff you're better off with an actual towel under there um but the easiest way to explain what this is if you imagine the way you look around a room with that headset that's basically what you're getting now there's different levels, different qualities, depending on what you're doing, whether you're watching videos, whether you're doing a gaming, there's, it depends how it's written. Um, but I just wanted to share that it's more than just gaming. Um, so the next 10, 15 minutes, I'll go through some of the stuff that's in the VR. Um, and hopefully the headset picks up my audio this time, because sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think it's some of the face because Oculus is owned by Facebook, by the way. Um, but anyway, okay, now everybody, this is the inside the VR. As you can see, it's a bit cyberpunk this location, but I can change the the room as well. So I've been going to some of our apps. In fact, there's a settings. I'm sure it is. Settings, virtual environment, and we could change it to something. This is a pass through, which is basically you can see inside the room. I'll move it over to classic home. But if you double tap on the side of the headset as well, it has a pass through ability. So, there's a few to choose from. But, you know, like when you just want a bit of space to go and sit and do something, this is great. Yeah, okay, so let's go into some of the apps that we got. Orbis is something I play a fair bit of. Um, should we start there? Yeah, let's go in Orbis to start with. So you can come and find me in Orbis if you, if you want. Takes a few seconds to load. A bit longer since we're recording. So here I am, and I'm a level 29 archer at the minute. Um, so this one is a game. <laughs> I'm wondering should I click or not because the amount of abusive language in this game with younger teens or whatever. Okay, let's just go in. Okay, guys, I'm having to do a bit of a voiceover on this one because uh, it blocked the audio. But anyway, this is Orbis, uh, which is a MMN ORG game. Um, it's mainly team based, teams of five, um, and then bigger battles. <laughs> I think some of them had over 70 players at the same time. I'm not going to spend too much time in here because if I kick it off with those guys in there, I'll be there about 20 minutes fighting with them. It's a large scale. This is one zone, uh, as you can see I'm up there in the corner, but that's that's one area. That's the world and there's an expansion packs on this one as well. 
um, so it is a fairly chunky game. Um, I do find it quite quite good fun, good to chill out after a day's work. Um, but that's Orbis. So let's have a scan through and see what else we've got here. Okay, that's this one there is another one that's for it's more of a social group type thing, family orientated. It's good. We can go in there. We'll go. We'll have a look at the trailer. Live streaming to Facebook, now streaming big screen beta. Okay, so that's our thing. The video quality won't be great on these recordings because it's for Facebook because that's the setup on this currently. Right, so we're going in the big screen. There you go. So you can have like different movie rentals, you can rent them, you can go into the cinema, they've got TV channels in here. Um, I want to do a, let's see if I can get a, just so we can get a feel for this stuff. Bear in mind, UK has a lot of issues around the licensing. Spain's got them, US has got it, but here, here in the UK, a lot of these are, you can't access. These are TV channels, obviously, which is normal TV shows. Oh, hang on, I've spun around now, haven't I? Let's try again. Okay. So I'm trying to not to open anything. Let's see if we can get it. There you go. So we've got a trailer. So just so you can see what a trailer looks like. Not that you wouldn't know what it is, but this is the environment you're in. So it's it's a cinema. You think your world is safe? As you can see, it is an illusion. Enjoy these fine There's moments. There's lots of 3D Peace. movies and stuff in here. Out of that one. Just to get you a feel for it, if you want to watch the trailer, log in. <laughs> um. This one's a little bit different as a game. Um, this is Fisherman's Tale. Which... You'll, it's a puzzle style game. So we'll just... Can you so at the moment, the mission on this... Sat down. Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Okay, I'll stand up. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. So this is his room. And this is his model he's building. And this is the boarded up window. But I don't want to do too much on this one. We'll move on. But this is more of a puzzles type game. Okay, so... It's a bit of variety. Now, what else can we show you that's maybe a little bit different? Let's pull this down. Rec Room's good as a family one. Um, there's a lot of games to play with kids and stuff. And if you're a bit of a fan of... Uh, what's that TV show? Uh, you'll recognize it when I open it up. Okay, so this is, as you can see here, a bit of an introduction to it. Experience Adam Savage test in a whole new dimension. Download and watch the video below for a brief introduction from Adam himself. Hey there, Adam Savage here and welcome to Tested VR. You are inside my cave, my sanctum where I make all the props and costumes and objects that I can't not make, like this one here. 
And in this series, you're going to get to experience a build from me in this space. But we will also be taking you inside the workshops and maker spaces of incredible makers and designers from all across the country. From costumers to creature makers, from puppet masters to chainsaw sculptures, you're going to get a unique view into their working process, their design aesthetic, and the spaces in which they work. So pick up a notebook, have a look around, and enjoy. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of learning stuff on there. It's not, like I said, not everything is gaming in this environment. Um, so you're going to make different stuff. Join, join Adam as he gets his live cast created by the effective artist at the Weeder Workshop. Richard Taylor explains the live cast process and how it's used to create the creature and character prosthetics that transform actors into their screen roles. So I'm not going to open that because, like I said, I'm trying to keep out of the copyright issues. Um, but this is another example of something else you can do in VR. So we'll quit out of that one. Yeah, where are we going? There's a lot of stuff around. Uh, which one? That's. I think that's the. There's three or four. Immersed is another one. Um, around working tools, you know, but at the moment they're not great. Um, I find them a bit glitchy at the moment, so we won't go into that too much. This is a bit like YouTube. Obviously, you got. Amazon Prime in here, you've got Netflix in here, uh, there's a few games and demos in there. Jurassic World's quite an interesting one. We'll go in there. And it's basically like you're near one of the dinosaurs, so it's a bit of a bit of an experience. You need to get immersed in this. That's why I say getting to the VR stuff it is so cool. Um, more games. Bait. It's a fishing game. Um, but there is a virtual fishing, which is supposed to be really good as well. I haven't got that one yet. Um, quit, uh, puppet Fever is where you make puppets and stuff. But other people can be involved with the mobile phones. Um, so that's quite good for kids. Uh, quill. It may be to some people's taste, not others. Um, it's more art orientated. Um, so let's have a look at something here. I'll just scroll down these ones. Cause I'm a bit worried about the copyright on some of these things since I'm just trying to share the experience, but it is fairly limited unless you're watching it in VR. Um, but there's animation series in here, different types of things. Um, it is there's so much stuff in here; it's ridiculous. Um, what else? Let's have a look. What else we got? Dance. That's good for fitness. Venues is another one for movie watching. Richie's Plank, I think, is overpriced, but it's okay. The virtual desktop actually brings my laptop here, um, so I can actually have my computer inside the VR, and I think I can have up to three screens, which means I get three machines in here. Um, Thrill of the Fights boxing match. Beat Saber's good for fitness. Uh, let's open that guy up. Exercise. It's now made me stand up, so that's a positive. Okay, so let's have a look. What else we got left? Um... Uh, so we'll get down there. Elixir is a good one. Onward is a bit like um, military in a East um, Middle Eastern environment. That's quite good. Team player based. Mission ISS is a spaceship. A lot of people get uh, motion sickness on that, but it's qu quite good. Ecosphere I found wasn't that great about different parts of the planet. There's probably more to come on that. Um, then you get things like this. After the home after the war is about a um, the story of a family in Iraq, um, where I think yeah I'm sure it's Iraq, where it's from the father's perspective about his family and the death of his two sons. 
Um, there is uh, Echo VR is also very good, um, but there is a ridiculous amount of stuff in here. Uh, quit app, yeah, okay. And it's expanding because I think with um, Wonder is like Google Earth, but not as good. So I recommend getting the cable plugged into your headset. You can get Google Earth for free, where Wonder is obviously eight pounds. Um, but the market is expanding on this. I believe um, Steam has increased its VR by about 2%, which is probably 200,000 people at a rough estimate. Or I mean, I have no idea, but I assume it's at least that. Um, but the market is constantly expanding. Obviously, the more it expands, the more game developers get in here. Um, you can do a fair bit with this with Unity and stuff if you want to do game development. Um, but I'm not getting into this. In I just want to give a basic overview of this is what I get up to when I'm stuck and can't go home to Spain. Um, it's enough to keep anybody entertained, to be fair. Red Matter is a puzzle game. That's quite good. Um, obviously, Trip is a... Uh, well-being type app which um, I don't really rate it but anyway population is one of the biggest games which is, I suppose the VR equivalent of Fortnite epic roller coasters is quite good um, good for kids as well my, my wife plays that um, but there's plenty to choose from and even productivity you can do a fair bit I'm not opening my work ones for obvious reasons but immersed you can share Information can be logged in, in the same area. Um, I wonder if there's the one. Immersed might actually be blank. Let's just see. So, because some of them have got some documents open that I'm working on. Uh, let's see if it loads. So, it's wanting me to log my computer in. I'm not going to do that at the moment. But you end up with an environment that you can work in. Let's just change the room location. So it's a... Yeah, change the room location on this one, but it's another one that's cut my software off, so uh, I've had to redo the sound. Um, so you can create an office environment. Um, you've got access to whiteboards, and as you can see, my mic is flashing in there, so it blocked me actually saying it for this video, so I've had to do the voiceover. But there's white screens, there's access to your monitors um, you can get multiple people in here uh, gives you a workspace that i think with this whole home working and the um, constant COVID thing that's ongoing these types of things are going to evolve quite quickly in the next 12 12 to 18 months uh, it's already half there it's a bit glitchy still but you can still access your keyboard and um, you can set it up so it can see which keys there are so you can actually see it inside the VR so don't assume you have to know your keyboard off by heart you've just got to set it up um, but that's immersed and that's pretty much most of the stuff I have in VR uh, at the minute which is more than enough to keep me occupied for the rest of the year um, but anyway I just want to share that today because I know some of you guys are stuck at home as well this may be something you want to buy for yourself